we just met another couple who was house sitting here who have taken up were they taken up residency in Canada yeah. yeah they were from they live in Canada he was from Australia she was Canadian but they're back out here house sitting very nice couple they told us that they had burned de been down to um, Mermaid's Inlet, which is down through here, and they said that it wasn't a very long walk. So let's head over these trees. Is it down that track or down here? Oh, it'll be here because the netting's here. I think. Yeah. So let's go see what this is all about. And that's it, boys and girls. We are going to call it a day. I had no idea this walk today was going to involve. So we parked the car at 10 past 12. It is now, what do they say, after 2 o'clock, Jules? After 2 o'clock. This is something, this kind of walk today was something that we needed to leave Jeringong at like 6 o'clock in the morning so we had the rest of the day to ourselves. But there was a stopover in Berry, as I mentioned before. Jules loves her shopping. So all these little sleepy villages. We had to take them in before coming down here. Here we go. Caution, narrow track, dangerous waves. So this one's blocked off as well, is it? Why is this one blocked off? So these are the... On our left here. Do you think those rocks, the ones that you took a picture of up top, have fallen recently? because we're going to pass them. Actually, we may come across them again. Once they do gossings, they actually offered us a lift back to the vehicle. There's those rocks that were from here, yeah. I didn't realise that we were going to come down onto this track though. But yeah. Zoom that out if you're going to take a picture of those because I don't know if it's zoomed in because we zoom in so often. The colours on that plant there. Look at all the greenery here, Jules, and you got this red leaf type plant. Yeah, it doesn't look very secure, doesn't it? Have a look at it, all falling away. Oh, no. I wouldn't be walking on that side, put it that way. These rocks on this side look very sturdy. These are the same rocks when you come out through onto through the Gosslands tunnel onto that shelf over there. Oh so they must be talking about down here maybe. What the hell is that? That may have been a life boy once upon a time. What do you reckon a life Life boy, just in case someone was drowning, looks like where that uh, ring would have uh, hung. They have them in the on the cliffs at uh, where St Michael's Cave is on Bangali Headland. Oh, this is the I'm, I'm sure this is where the fishermen came down, Jules. I'd say the fishermen walked their way around this way. Shoalhaven City Council, Mermaid Inlet. General warning, rock fishing is a dangerous and hazardous activity. Please take reasonable care of your safety. There's only been one death, that's not too bad. Uh, where do we go down, down here? Yeah, so there's the fishermen down there. And I gather this is the inlet down over here.
Jules, when I asked them how did the fishermen get down, they had no idea there was fishermen. So did they come this far? Because they would have seen them. The fishermen's just over there. So they must have only come, come to here. Because there's the fishermen there. And Gosang's tunnel is just around the corner and up. Look at that water. Look at the colour of it, Jules. Yeah, I know. You can see how far out that cliff has come for them to collapse. So that came out a lot further to here and they've just broken off. Yeah, I don't know, but you see how many deaths? There's only been one death since 2004 behind you on the sign. Bit of graffiti there. Are you going to come down here? Come down a little bit further. While we're here. I'll tell you one good thing. There is no slippery rocks here. This is so good. You need footwear though, I wouldn't go bare feet. ready to run then see that it's like a bloody washing machine that scared the shit out of me That's some dangerous seas, fellas. Wow. What a great day. We always make a day of it, me and Jules. I've got to get Jules down here to get a few pictures as it's coming around. That's it fellas, we're signing off from down here at Mermaid's Inlet. We're going to do the big uh, walk back up to the car in that residential street. Look at the waves crashing down through there. So I'm not going to film anything on the bush track going home. We pretty much did that on the way down. so. There'll be one final goodbye once we reach the gate where it says no entry. Be careful there, darling. Well done. Say goodbye to the viewers, Jules. All right. Until we see you back up at the gate. Adios. Well, guys, that was a 35-minute walk back. That's how long it takes from this way so that probably not that much longer from the car park we can see the roofs of the houses there in the distance so there's only one thing left to do show you the cap and the shades that prime is wearing today we've got the old classic queen baseball cap the flexi fit one that I've put together myself 
and the shades. We have got the RB2140s, I think they are. These are the ones that Tom Cruise made famous in Risky Business. Also, the Blues Brothers wore these brand of shades in that movie as well with the blue flash lenses. And of course, the footwear, well, they are the originals. Back in 2020 when I bought these thongs, I didn't know how they would perform. They are the original Boomerang Blue Splash with the green, olive dab green straps and the black toes. Man, let me tell you, I've taken these on some walks. The ones I use more so these days are the Aboriginal prints, but I used to wear these ones all the time in the Blue Mountains, and they are still going strong. Hang on, let me show you what the base looks like so the the rang bits are starting to come apart a little bit but look at you can still see the tread pattern isn't that amazing for someone that's been wearing them for so long incredible so there's the gate julesy you said that was going to take over an hour how long would that take 35 minutes 40 minutes max with a nice power walk Yeah, I said it will only take five minutes back, but I was being a little bit facetious. So, so this is it, guys. You can do this, the Gossangs Tunnel and uh, the Mermaids Inlet. You could do it from the street where we're parked here. I'm not quite sure what the street's called. Or you can head around to where the fish and ship shop is from what they told us and walk that short distance and see them both. From down here at Kurrarong, we shall bid you goodbye from Julesy and myself. Until we see you on the next adventure or explore, adios.